Hi there. Now in this video, I want to now extend what we've been covering in integration by substitution. I want to look at how we handle integrals then that have limits. And to demonstrate this, I've got this integral here where we're integrating x times all of 2x plus 1 to the power 3 between the limits x equals 1 to x equals 2. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with integration by substitution using this method here. If not, do go back and check my earlier video tutorials on this. So for this type of integral, I'd want to let u equal 2x plus 1. So if we let u equal 2x plus 1, I'm also going to let this integral be called i. OK, so let i equal this integral. Then in the usual way, I've got the integral. Now I'm going to leave off the limits. You'll see why in a moment. But we've got f of x. f of x, remember, is this part in here. And I'm going to put the x in. And then in place of 2x plus 1, write u. So we've got u to the power 3. And then in order to work out dx, we can either work out dx by du and then put du on the end, or we can rearrange for dx by differentiating this expression here with respect to x. And if you do that, you're going to have du dx equals 2. dx du will be the reciprocal of 2, which will be a half. And then dx will be equal to a half du. OK? So if you go for this version, dx du, it's going to be a half. OK, so we just put a half in. And then we would tag on the du. Or if you just replace the dx here with what we have here, it will be half du. So it makes no difference which way we do it. Now, the most important point about this tutorial, though, is the limits. And... Because we've changed the integral now with respect to u, we need to change these limits, which were limits that were with respect to x. So we start with this one, when x is 1. Let's just put it down here. We start then with x equaling 1. And when x equals 1, we substitute it into here. And we end up with u equaling 3. And so we would put u equals 3 in the bottom there. And then we take the next value of x, that is when x is 2, and substitute that in here and get the corresponding value of u, which is going to be 5. So u would equal 5. And put that value up here. Now notice in this example, the upper limit 5 is greater than the lower limit here, 3. Sometimes you will get the odd example where this top value is smaller than the bottom value. If that happens, don't be tempted to swap these two limits round. OK? Always work with the bottom one, goes with the bottom one here, and the top one goes with the top one there. OK? So let me just border this off. Now, with this integral, we've got the x that's left over here. And in the usual way, we need to rearrange this equation here so that we get x in terms of u. So if you rearrange this, x will equal u minus 1 all over 2. And I would substitute that in, and we would get this result here. And then what I need to do is just multiply u cubed with u minus 1, and you can see that we get this result. I've also taken a quarter out the front, OK? And so next, all I'd want to do is just integrate this. And if you integrate this, you'll get this result here. And then all we need to do is substitute our limits in. In this case, 5 and then 3, OK? And substituting those limits in, gives us this, which reduces down to 1,101 all over 10. 
So that's how you handle integrals by substitution then that have limits. So I hope that's been of some use to you.